Hey Artland, how's it going? So I've been having a lot of fun lately doing some of these big close-ups of the different heads of some of these characters. We've done Godzilla, we've done Rodan, did a T-Rex. So now I want to show you guys how to do another one and this time we're going to do King Ghidorah. So to start off with this, we're going to begin with his eye. So I'm going to put his eye right in about the middle of the paper, maybe up just a little bit. And I'm just going to start off just by making a small circle shape like this. And the reason I'm drawing it so small is because I'm going to make his mouth kind of open him so we have a lot to fit in here. Now, right above here we want to kind of make his little eyebrow or eye ridge. So I'm going to make a little line that just kind of curves up and then kind of comes down a little bit. And then kind of right back here, I'm going to make a little line that's just going to kind of go up and then kind of come back to here. I'm going to draw a little line right above it and then another little line right below the eye. And then I'm going to make another one that just kind of goes right to here. I'm going to draw a curved line right here that just kind of touches the bottom of the eye. And then another line that's just going to kind of run right behind it. I'm going to add a couple little kind of curved lines right around the eye. I'm going to add another little curved line right over here. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve up to here. And then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes down. I'm going to make a little line that goes across. And then another one that just kind of goes up and then down to here. Just to kind of form his nose. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up. It's going to come around to here. And then over here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes up and then kind of curves back. And I'm going to make a little line that just kind of curves around and then another one here. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down. I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes up, down, and then it's going to go up again. Then I'm just going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve down here. It's going to go past the eye. And when I get to about here, I'm going to kind of curve it up. That's just going to kind of form the top of the mouth. Now, starting all the way back here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down like this. I'm going to make a line that just kind of curves up and then down. Then starting here, I'm going to draw another line that just kind of goes down. I'm going to kind of curve it up, down, and then back up just to kind of form the bottom of the mouth. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curves down and then back here. Kind of like that little part of the mouth that just kind of really stretches like some skin there. Now, up here, let's just kind of finish off the face and we'll add some more details into the mouth. So right over here by the nose, I'm going to just draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then it's going to come down like this just to show where the other eye is. I'm going to make a line right here that just kind of curves up. Then I've got all of these little spikes on here. So I'm going to start here and just add some little kind of spikes. They're just going to be kind of pointed at the top and they're going to be curved at the bottom. Kind of like little upside down cones. And then as I get to about here, I'm going to kind of make them a little bit smaller. And I'm going to stop right about there. Then I'm just going to add a little curved line right between each one. And then a little line that just kind of curves back here. Now, Ghidorah has these 
crazy, crazy long horns. So the top one is gonna be the biggest. So I'm gonna start right back here, kind of by the eye, and I'm just gonna draw a line that just kind of goes up, and then I'm just gonna kind of go down, and then it's gonna kind of curve around a little bit, go right to the edge of my paper. Then I'm just gonna kind of keep it pointy at the end, and then I'm just gonna get it pretty wide as it comes back. And it's not like a smooth curve, it's really bumpy. Then I'm going to start right here, pretty close to the kind of like the mouth area. And I'm just going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of do the same thing. It's going to kind of curve up, get real skinny, and then it's just going to kind of come back to here. I want to make another one right under here. It's going to kind of curve up. It's going to kind of come down and then come back to here. I'm going to add another line right here, right here, just to make it a little bit wider. I'm going to start here, another one, just going to kind of go down, curve up and down, come to a point, and then come back to here. Then, starting like right here, I'm going to add a couple like zigzag lines that are kind of going in at an angle. I'm going to go right to about there. Then I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down and it's going to kind of come to here. And then I'm going to draw a nice long line that's going to run right into here. Now, Ghidorah is going to have that other horn right over here. So I'm going to start it right here by the eye and I'm going to draw a line that's so going to kind of curve up. It's going to kind of come down like this, curve up just a little bit. It's kind of lined up with the fat part of this horn. And then I'm just going to kind of curve it back to here. And then I'm just going to kind of start right here and bring it right down to the top of the head. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down to here for the neck. And then I'm going to start here, draw a little curved line. I'm going to jump over this horn, go right to here, and then I'm just going to jump over this, go right to there. Okay, so let's come back to the mouth over here and add some more details. So Ghidorah kind of has the mouth of like a snake. So he's got these two long fangs. There's going to be one right here, and then I'm going to put one right here. They're kind of angled and kind of curved out. Then I'm going to draw some pointy teeth in here, and as I draw them, I'm just going to add a little curved line at the top. So I'm going to make some smaller ones here, and then a couple little longer ones. It's like they start out big by the fangs, and they get smaller as they go in. I'm going to draw a little line right here, kind of where the gum is going to be. And then I'm going to add some more of these kind of sharp little fangs. These really sharp teeth. He's got very, very sharp, kind of like needle-like teeth. Go all the way back to his mouth. Now, he's got kind of like the same thing down here. Not quite as big with the teeth and those fangs, but he still has a bunch of them. So I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm just going to draw these, kind of put those little curved lines underneath them. Leave a little bit of space. And then I'm going to put a few right here in the middle. And then I'm just going to put one big one right there. Now he's got this really long kind of snake tongue coming out of his mouth. So I'm going to start here and draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down. And then it's just going to kind of go up and down. I'm going to kind of curve this back to here. I'm going to add another little curve line here. He's got that forked tongue like a snake. I'm going to curve this in. And then I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curves up, and then it's going to come down to here for the tongue. Now, starting over here, we want to draw the other part of his mouth. So I'm just going to start here and draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down. 
jump over the tongue, go right to here. I'm going to add a little line at an angle just to kind of show where the other row of teeth is going to be. Just add a couple little pointy ones in there. And then I'm just going to add another little kind of wavy line down here and maybe one more there. Then I'm just going to add a little kind of curved line that just goes right around here. And then another one that just kind of goes out to there. Okay, so we have our basic drawing of Ghidorah. Now we want to add all of our details in there. And he does have quite a few. So if I go too fast during this part, just make sure you keep hitting that pause button just to kind of slow down and catch up. So I'm just going to add some kind of little details right around here. Some little kind of quick curve lines. A couple little lines that just kind of go right along there. I'm going to add some little kind of long broken lines kind of right down his nose. A couple more right there. Little lines just going to kind of go around and then kind of curve up to here for his eye. A couple more just kind of show like they're like plates of scales and everything kind of running down his body. A lot of long broken lines kind of around the face. Some little kind of curved lines up here by the eyes. Some more kind of curved ones all over the place. I'm going to add some kind of quick little curved lines right around here just to show where those kind of scales or those little spikes are sitting in the face. Add a couple more little lines right around here. I'm going to make a long broken line right down some of these horns here. I like to start by a curve and then just kind of add an extra little line right around there. I'm going to add these kind of long curved broken lines. You can kind of put them close together, far apart, a little mix. And this is just going to kind of help make his horns look like they're kind of curved and they're not so just kind of straight and flat. You can put some on top as well, just make sure you're using a lot of those broken lines. So I'm going to put some more over here, just kind of some long broken lines. They're just kind of curved right around there. Doing them on the top and the bottom. Put a few more right around here. Then I'm going to put some right around here too. And I'm just going to do this to all of the horns, just kind of lots of these little kind of curved broken lines just to add lots of little detail on here. And then just some more over here too. And then I'm just going to put a few on this one too. I'm going to add a couple little extra lines over here and then just some more kind of long broken lines right around the face. A few more right here and then just add like a couple little extra lines all around here just for some details. I'm going to kind of add a little bit of a curved line around these just to show that there are lots of little like spikes and stuff on his face. And then just some like little curves around here. I'm going to add some kind of long little kind of broken lines all around here. And then just a few more kind of around here just to add lots of details. I'm going to add a really long line right here and then just kind of lots of quick little lines. I'm going to add a couple little extra lines right around here in his mouth just for some detail. A couple little lines right around his tongue too. I'm going to make a nice long line that just kind of curves right down here. And I'm going to add another little extra long line right here. I'm going to make some big curved lines because he's got this kind of like armor plating right underneath 
his neck there. And then I'm just going to kind of add some more kind of long broken lines, very similar to what I did up here on the horns, just kind of all over the place. I'm going to add kind of like a little extra line along the top of all these. And then just going to add these quick little lines that go all the way across. Then I'm going to add a couple more little lines right around here. And then he's got these big, tall spikes going along here. So I'm just going to kind of add some of these spikes and then just some more kind of crazy lines on here. Line work is one of my favorite things to do, so I just like putting lots of them on there. A couple little lines right around the eye here. And then if you see any other spots that you want to add some details to, go right ahead, just kind of fill it in, just make it kind of your own drawing, be creative. And there you go, there is your drawing of Ghidorah's head from Godzilla King of the Monsters. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed.